Southern California is a vast and a vibrant region. Our diversity, creativity, and resilience is unmatched. And the Los Angeles Chamber of Commerce is proud to stand as a leader, convener, partner, and advocate, a catalyst helping to propel the region forward, positioning it to not only take on the challenges of the future, but preparing it to be resilient, grow, and transform. Well, I think that the Chamber has really been sort of one of the central, I think, incredibly well-respected organizations that really provides a focal point both for the business community and for the broader community, whether it's you know the nonprofits or also for elected officials to really understand what the needs are for the business community to make sure that we have a thriving region. Our vision is a thriving region for all. The board adopted that vision knowing that that was the heart and soul of the LA Chamber. Oh, I think the opportunity when you work with the Chamber is just scale. Uh, the, the outreach, the ability to touch so many different businesses, so many different employers, so many different elected officials. Um, it really is a force multiplier. Well, over the years, the Chamber here in Los Angeles has been a great advocate for global trade. Uh, the truth of the matter is we're the fifth largest economy in the world. And one big reason for that, international trade. We have some of the greatest assets here when I think of all our ports and our airports. The center of attention has been here in Southern California regarding the supply chain and how important it is uh, to the nation's economy. This year, the Chamber, in partnership with the Orange County Business Council, the Inland Empire Economic Partnership, we've been working collaboratively on the Balance California initiative. And we're really focused on research about the reality of the economy of Southern California. We're focused on policy that affects everyone in California. And then we're focused on electing officials that really understand the needs of our employer community. Microsoft has been able to partner with the Chamber to find and work with different businesses and communities to help train not only young people, but all adults as well to take on the next types of jobs. Helping shape what skilling and training looks like for all people has been a great help to us as a company, but also more importantly, the Chamber has been able to get the word across and out to other different communities that this training is available to them. The Chamber is a lighthouse of sorts, lighting a path forward for organizations such as ours, helping us anticipate changes to the landscape ahead, to better understand and respond to the pace of change, the demographic shifts that are amongst us, the changing labor market conditions, shifting economics and what employers actually need, and the transformation of learning and learning and production, if you will, through technology. There has been a change where I think businesses started to think about just their shareholders and their employees and their businesses and not about the broader community and about the need to improve the environment that we all live and work in. And so I really felt that, number one, we could make a difference, that we could stand up, I think businesses with a united voice to really make elected officials understand that you can't have a strong community unless the business environment is strong as well. And that we need to have a seat at the table to be able to explain what the long-term impacts are of the policies and regulations and to help create a more friendly business environment that will allow businesses to thrive and therefore allow our employees and the broader population to thrive as well. My hope for the region is that we leverage this moment in time. We are going to emerge from a pandemic and certainly we want to make sure we're stronger than we were before, that we've tackled the ills of the past. And we've seen that through inequities that we've seen across a variety of matters. And I think that's important for us to recognize that we can be bolder, we can be stronger, we can own our future, but it's through collaboration. It's through working together, whether it's business, policy makers, community leaders. We have shown that by working together, we can come up with a better solution. And that's what we aim to do, is to lean into all the relationships that we have with so many partners, to be that collaborator, that convener, that can be a catalyst for the work of the future.